So today we're gonna take this old um, air filter off. I put that on last summer before I started the YouTube channel because I wanted to hear the blow valve more and the turbo more. But now because I have this HKS blow valve and of course the exhaust, it's kind of useless at this point. So I'm gonna put back the stock cold air intake which should suck in more cold air than this because there is no funnel to how it's designed. Just like the exhaust video, I can't film this all by myself. I'm gonna need another hand. So I got Sage behind the camera. Say hi, Sage. Oh! So he's gonna be filming me replacing the, or putting back the stock intake. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this clamp right here. Um, after that, it's gonna take out the whole pod filter. So all you need to do is really just unscrew the whole thing and the whole thing would just pop off. So this is another problem with installing a bunch of aftermarket parts. The aftermarket parts do an awesome job at what they do, but because I'm putting a stock, like an OEM part with an aftermarket part, it, it's doing a really good job for being a blow off valve and looking cool under the engine bay. But because the blow off valve is now here, not over there, we got the clearances to, to bolt this on is, is it's a little it's a little tricky right now. Just something to think about when you're installing aftermarket parts. They're not always the easiest to work around as compared to the OEM parts, but they look a lot cooler, so. So this is what I was talking about. You see over here that you can really fit a ratchet over here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this side, not so much because the blow valve's in the way. And, oh. So I had to use the ratchet or the wrench to kind of get inside there and tighten it. But this side's a lot easier. Just something to note when you're installing aftermarket parts. It's not gonna be as easy to work on. OEM parts are supposed to work well with OEM parts and aftermarket parts are kinda for a more broad spectrum, I guess, with, with other parts. All right, so we're gonna put in the stock air filter. Um, I'm thinking about getting a more one that's more free flow, but I don't know, for right now, the stock one is still pretty clean and should work. All right, so on the stock intake on the Evo 10, there are two pins here to kind of align them. Um, it goes mates with, I don't know what the word is, mates here. Female, male. You guys can figure that one out. If you wanted to install the what's called the pod filter, this whole thing is super easy. This thing costed me 60 bucks at the uh, Speed Factor. You basically take this whole air box, this funnel off. You can keep the funnel actually, the funnel unclips from the air box, and they give you this clamp that's somewhere. It's a know. hose clamp. Yeah, it's a hose clamp. They give that to you too, and you do hear the turbo a little more and the blow off valve when you release the gas but it's more of a sound mod, mod if anything i don't think it increased the horsepower if anything i think it lowered the horsepower so the whole thing's done and it probably sounds exactly the same with the air with, with the pod filter um yeah that's the whole install hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did remember to leave a like and if you're new, new to the channel check out the other videos i have the exhaust video blow off valve video um, lowering spring video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and join the Annie Perfect Society. Peace out. Make it happen.